Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Tinker Crate series. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, Banjo's not joining us today. So uh, we will be uh, building the uh, crate here uh, on our own. We'll show you a little bit as we progress and everything, but uh, we won't go through everything quite as much as we usually do. Uh, just kind of touch up on some things as we build it, show you what's inside, stuff like that. So uh, here's the box. As you can see, the standard Tinker Crate box. And uh, just had to remind myself what this was. It is a mechanical bird. Um, now, I'm sure this is made out of wood, probably has a few gears, maybe some flapping wings or something like that. When you, uh, maybe it even has a little tiny motor that causes the wings to flap. I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen what these are yet. But uh, let's go ahead and get inside and. Uh, all right, guys, well, here we go. We got a handful of different products here. Uh, first thing we'll do is, of course, the standard Tinker Zine there. And uh, shows a little boy there with uh, some wings taped onto his arms. Don't know that it'll fly too far, but uh, it's a neat idea. Uh, it talks about birds here, flyers, uh, and shows a bunch of different ones, including some ones that don't fly. You have uh, lots of different information generally in these. There's, uh, okay, the technique and tells you, of course, what it is that they do that causes them to fly, as well as some of these other things. Looks like a little project there with folding some uh, paper up uh, to maybe make like an origami bird and uh, some other things. There we go with uh, what some of these different things are. So a uh, nice little thing, has some nice information. Uh, it, uh, of course, will tell you a little bit about how and why birds fly and uh, things like that. Uh, let's go ahead with the parts here. Now, as you can see here, it's a bag. I'm not sure how well you can make these out, but these are uh, plastic gears here. So uh, I'm sure these are going to be things that will probably make the wings flap or something like that. Uh, we have another package here that has uh, some of the foamy pieces, as well as some small dowels and some, uh, some foam stickies in there. We have, let's see, a... Well, it looks like there's two rubber bands and um, one little rubber piece that has like a little uh, uh, kind of groove cut into it. So that's, I'm sure, so, some kind of a keeper or a guide of some type. Uh, well, there we go. There's the bird himself. I got a, uh, what is this, like a cardboard type? Uh, well, the wings seem to be kind of like a lightweight cardboard and the body itself seems to be uh, maybe like a layered cardboard of some type. So there's that, and then we've got the, of course, laser etched or laser cut uh, laminated wood here to uh, build some of this stuff from. Last but not least, of course, we do have our blueprint here. You can, of course, see a drawing of what the bird should look like roughly when he's done. When you uh, open it up here, it has some various information, including all of the parts there. It uh, gives you some operation information there. And of course here, we have all of the instructions as to how to build it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tear into this. I may stop here and there just to show you something if uh, there's any issues, but as long as you follow these step by step and do it in order, even though you can do a couple things out of order, uh, sometimes, uh, when you go back, you need to uh, some interlock some pieces in a certain way. And so the way they have this laid out is to follow it this way. Just for the fact that sometimes you can't get the pieces interlocked without disassembling what you've already done. Uh, if, you, if you kind of go ahead. So let's go ahead and get to it and uh, we'll see how she turns out here in just a moment. All right, guys. So here we go. We've got the bird all put together. Uh, Pretty, pretty interesting build here. Uh, I need to tighten this up a little bit. But uh, lots of kind of mechanical design to it. Uh, and something is weird, didn't quite use all the pieces. For some reason we got some rubber bands. I haven't figured out what those are for. I went through the instructions here and not really sure what those all are for. But as you can see, you've got the bird body, you've got the wings, and they're all hooked up to the mechanical device here. Now these levers are what control the, uh, the bird wings there as well as these under pieces and uh, then you've got some gears back here that control the movement. Uh, I grab here at the uh, large knob 
on the back to turn it. And as you can see, the wings will flap up and down. And it is basically the same way that a bird's wing flaps when it's going through the air. So if you were able to, maybe you could take and uh, put like a little tiny motor on the back of that there, plug that in and hit the button to turn it on and have it uh, rotate on its own consistently. Uh, me sitting here doing it by hand, it's a little awkward because uh, as you get to certain points, it pulls a little tighter, like right, right around in here when you're trying to bend everything, it, uh, it tightens up a little bit and then it of course relaxes when it's long and straight like that. But uh, very interesting, very cool build, definitely shows you kind of the mechanics of how uh, birds uh, wings kind of work as well as if you want to check it out a little bit more intricately with uh, the way their bones and everything work that is in here in the Tinker Zine. So something really cool. Alright guys, well that'll go ahead and do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is the world of me and another episode from the uh, Tinker Crate series, uh, which is a Kiwis Tinker Crate. And uh, you know, it, definitely a neat build. If you guys want to check this out, go down there in the description below. We, of course, will have a link to uh, Tinker Crate, and you can check them out. And you can also check out our social media. That's also down there. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and that little icon floating around over there in the corner. Uh, of course, that's for subscribing if you haven't already done so. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that little bell icon that's right down there as well. Uh, that'll let you get notified when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Alright guys, well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!